going to the winner's match, Artosis. Let's find out which one it's going to be. Down here on Overgrowth, our Protoss player for KT Rolster. He is dead. I love his glasses. Only suits his face. And his opponent to the opposite side of the map. In the blue, he is seven. Otherwise known as Rogue on Jyn Air, a team that might be uh, the best in the world right now. They did win. Yeah. They won round two, but they had a rocky round three so far. Yeah, they have, but you know what? They're really solid. They're a very strong team right now What with uh, Maru, SOS, Savage. These are one of the best players from every race right there. Yeah. You know, that's, and of course, they have lots of other players as well that are quite great. I like um, what you said earlier about saying how Savage uh, <laughs> is basically quietly become one of the, the best Zerg players in the world. Oh, no doubt. And nobody yeah. has really even given him enough gratitude for what he's done yet. Oh, is he actually, certainly, like, he's, he's, wow. he's got an offensive hatch. I like it. This is definitely something we've seen from him before. Uh, I'm wondering what he's going to plan on doing with it here. It's against a gateway opener, so it's. Uh, in some ways, you consider it a bit less strong. I would never do this. I would never expect to do this. I expect to see this. <laughs> Stumbling over everything. Uh, on his map pick on Overgrowth on a uh, game three. This to me shows complete confidence that no matter what happens in this best of three, <laughs> his ZBZ he thinks is good enough to where he's just like, oh, I'm going to get out of this group. So let me see if I can just jump into the winner's match and yeah. I'm going to do this weird huh. build here. Well, we'll see what he has planned for it. Uh, by the way, just something I've noticed this game, uh, on Habitation Station, Stats also did a one gas, uh, one gateway expand to the natural, uh, and or to the gold base, rather. And the thing is, that isn't as popular as it once was. A lot of people like to get two gases right now yeah. when they go gateway expand. And I thought to myself, I'm like, oh, you know what? I think that this is maybe just a nod towards the map and a slightly altered build order to uh, best take the gold base a little bit quicker to get that advantage quicker, but he's done it here as well, so it looks like this is the gateway expand that he actually prefers. So well, this is actually his, his first glance at this hatchery, by the way. He just planned on coming down here and expanding, <coughs> and he had no idea. He didn't scout for this at all, and now he's he's got a situation where he has to kill this base. The broodlings might kill yeah. some of his probes, and uh, well, there are links being made here. This is kind of interesting uh, how many probes he chose to take down. Well, he loses one already. He's yeah. so much mining time Definitely here. a bit of a mistake there. The Stalker will help to stop that. Uh, and at first I thought he was bringing down the probes to make sure he killed it quick enough for a queen to not be able to get out because if a queen pops out here, you just lose. Oh god, he lost another probe. And again, those broodlings, I'm telling you, if he doesn't pull those probes before the hatch dies, he's going to lose. I, I think I'd say will. probably all of oh them are going to die, I think. god, he's killed three probes. Four, Four probes. This is actually crazy. Well, two more lings pop out. Okay, he does pull the, the probes away from the Bruins. Doesn't matter. He lost so much already. He's going to lose that Zealot, maybe? Yeah, well, yeah, no, it looks barely like he saves it. Okay, so he actually lost five probes total. One was the Scout probe, I do believe. Right? I think so, yeah. Actually, yeah. no, no, I'm not I so sure about that. It didn't come home. I'm pretty sure. Because I only saw the lings kill four probes over here, and I don't see the Scout probe on the map. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, no. Yeah, I he, think. I think. I think you're well, right. Either well, way, okay. Let's make it five another. now. So <laughs> this is. I can't even believe that he's killed this many probes. This is, is like, like. This is the type of ladder game that I just leave. I'm like, oh, I'm so bad, and I just exit the game. Yeah. Stats is like uh, allowed this so many times. Like on Alter Zim, um, he just let the the wings in. Uh, we saw some run bys also in game one. I feel like Savage is maybe even just doing this like kind of like okay, well you're bit off on your control for some reason today, oh, which is just watching how Stats has, has played this best of three, I think like, okay, he's clearly a really good at PBZ, we've been reminded of this, but yeah. at the same time, with if his condition doesn't improve going into this, but he has to play only PBZ, the only match he's playing today, and the other Zergs are watching this, by the way, saying like, oh wow, you seem to be a bit weak to Zergs today, I think he's going to have a tough time getting out of this group. Just, just it not, not from his, that way. his name. Like you look at, like okay, he's getting out for sure. Oh, he almost blocked the nexus. Well, that would have been so painful. That would, yeah, that would have been very painful. <laughs> well, Scouts, this goodbye pylon. pylon. Wow, stats. Nothing goes wrong with you. Statistically, this might be one of your worst games. <laughs> um, look at this. He's got to pull three probes. Dude, I don't know about stats getting out today. This is, this is really, really painful so far. Like, uh, it's just. 
The thing is, the game that he won against Savage, Savage definitely made a, a pretty big blunder. He could have easily lost. Uh, it's Well, he should have at least gone on longer than that. And th then I just look at the fact that Curious is in the group, and I just have the utmost respect for Curious. Curious's EVP is like definitely not anything to the, shake a stick at. Yeah. The variety of play that he'll bring into that matchup is astounding. He has like so many moves up his his sleeve, you know. Curious like, gets out of this group for sure to me, actually. Really? Just looking at it from the outside. I guess we'll talk about it a bit more when he starts playing, but... Um, I mean, this is like a cool move, right? He's, he's coming over here and doing damage. He's got a tight wall over here. But I'm concerned, actually, that possibly just a roach speed attack at, at uh, stats as third base <laughs> will finish him off. And if he if he doesn't ever take a third next, it's like, well, okay, well, he just loses the game anyways, right? Uh, there's... Too much to gamble here for him to actually stick around with these stalkers all too much longer. Yeah, off but creep he can do well, but... You know what I really like? I do like what he's chosen to do here with the stalkers, if you think about it, right? Because his nexus was delayed forever, and he was getting scared, so he had to make a full wall at his natural, which added gates. So, like, what do you do with those gates? How do you make those gates not suck? And, and what he recall, chose to do is to move up here and just do... A stalker harassment, not even a zealot harassment, a stalker harassment where he can get maximum value till speed is out, as we just saw. Yeah. This was a great transition, which he did, you know, spurt of the moment. This was, he was thinking on his feet, and I think that this was a great move by Stats. Yeah, you know, I, I will concur with you. I was a bit concerned he might end up losing the Mothership core, but he was careful about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Link Speed was, was delayed enough by how much pressure Savage put on in the hatch that he made that... Uh, yeah, I think that that's a that's a good game sense move by Stats, and he is going to try to take this third base over here now. But it's clearing Overlord, so that hallucinated Phoenix. He's like, uh, excuse me, can you can move we... out of this area? But uh, I, I can't imagine what Overlord feels like when that when that Phoenix like hallucinated mm. Phoenix. So he's like, he's like, this is my time, and then, oh, okay, <laughs> I thought that was it. I thought my number was up on that one. <laughs> Well, here we go, Wolf. This is that speed roach attack that you were talking about on the third base. There's a lot of lings on the way as well. He's setting up for quite a big flank. This, I don't know he if he has gonna a work. lot of force fields. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have that many roaches. Plus one's about to finish two here. That's going to be pretty helpful. You know, ooh, I love the this split. attack at the natural. That's a great split. He uses the roaches to get rid of the zealot, runs lings in. He's putting the multitasking of stats to the test now. And you know what? I think he passes the test, at least for now. A few lings here will be uh, deterred by the Stalkers in the main. Overcharge at the Nat. And if uh, he can save this third Nexus, that's everything for him right yeah. now. Loses a sentry here, and so far he does hold it. I think he's holding everything just fine. He chose the perfect Nexus can. He warped in a couple units in the main base to help out against the lings. And it's this is kind of working out for him. If he can just keep these sentries alive for the most part, as well as, of course, that third, which looks like that's already... On, already going to live no matter what. Yeah, it's already done. And he only lost two probes? One probe during all that. One probe. Oh, my God. That's That was a fantastic hold. And the thing is, Savage was so smart about that. That was It was really smart to split. He was attacking four different spots at once. The main, the natural, and the third from two sides. Yeah. All and right, well, it was held perfectly. Artosis, let's see if we can do it twice, because there are 31 roaches until two of them just uh -oh. died. Now 29 on the map, and those forces now work against yeah. stats. He has the Nexus Cannon here, but there's not enough damage out, but he can't cross those four shields. Again, a great move here to use the Frost four shields against him. He knows he's got to drop those or he's going to lose too many sentries. He puts the four shields you know, down, he's, he's capitalized on it. That, that was a hard situation. I think a lot of Protosses would have full walled there, but he shouldn't have. He should have had a little bit more room so that he could run out and chase the roaches. Unfortunately, he didn't, and now Savage still pushing forward with this speed roach attack and dealing way too much damage. Stats is for sure they're going to lose this game. Yeah, the third base hold was as only a, a band-aid solution to the bigger problem, just that Savage has way too much. Living up to his ID here, GG. Savage will be moving on to the winner's match here in Group G. Stats are really uh quite enjoyed this series. Yeah. I have to say, even though it was like, there were definitely some blunders and definitely uh, some one-sidedness in the series, I quite liked the series. These two are really, really strong players. These are the type of players that are so strong. You know, this is the thing. A lot of times, lower level players are going to give you a game that a lot of people say is more entertaining because it gets closer and they both don't kill each other and 
you know, because both of them are making mistakes, whereas these guys are like, oh, you made one mistake. Ha, ah, you're dead. Yeah. You're so dead. You don't even look like you had a chance. Yeah. And that's what we're seeing. And that was, I thought that was a great series for that reason. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, what I loved about that series is just the really technical moves that we saw. For example, the Warp Prism Fold, the High Templar, you know. Yeah, and that was great. That's that's an old PvT move that can absolutely be used in this matchup And it well. uses in PvP actually quite a bit as well to snipe the Mothership Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, it's just something that's getting more and more popular. And I, I love also that hold where we saw him hold the third base like again it didn't end up saving him no. but just watching that unfold where Rogue is like I have my fingers in everything you were doing and yeah. still stats is like okay I'm so far behind this game I'm probably still gonna die but let me give it my best yeah. chance here and let me like just try my my damnedest to hold this and it it worked but in the end he lost the game he but did it, it's still like that goes to show like just how invested he is into this third game where he doesn't look at this and think, well, I'm done. He looks at this and says, well, maybe if I hold this and he makes mistakes, like I can maybe come back. He's like trying so hard. Indeed. Indeed. It was a very good series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We have another good series coming up next. going to be Ragnarok against Curious after this commercial break.